my children let's continue with the fifth property we learned four properties in the previous video in this property we're going to apply one of the operations that you have done while calculating the inverse remember this by uh, this operation that you have done while calculating the inverse of a matrix by elementary row operations and the same lines this corresponding column operation also you've done it chapter 3 while calculating the inverse. So what is the meaning of these two operations on row and column? It means to any row we can add scalar times the corresponding elements of the other some other row then the value determined kya aega that's what we are going to assess and going to say in this property. Similarly if same operation corresponding column wise agar hum kare to any column we add scalar times the corresponding elements of some other column what happens to the value of the determinant the value of the determinant in both the cases remains unchanged remains same remains unchanged that is same that means even if you perform these operations on a particular in a particular determinant a particular row or a particular column the value of the determinant will not change let's uh, take up one example to understand this we have a determinant simple we can take the same entries that is easy to find it out determinant ki value yahan pe aapko pata hai minus 2 hai so minus 6 so any row operation apply kare to what do we get uh, row operation le lete let's make the operation row operation as we add into the row 1 elements scalar times the corresponding elements of row 2 The scalar is non-zero. You understand this. K is non-zero, so you can take K to be any non-zero figure. You can take negative, positive. So I'm taking here. Let's say a simple one. Minus two times row two. So what will happen to the elements of row one? The new determinant. Now you can see the new determinant will be here. Row one. We add in the two row one elements. Minus two times corresponding elements of row two. So one minus six. Minus five. You can check two minus eight. Two plus minus two times four. Minus two times four is minus eight. So two minus eight is how much? Minus six. Second row no changes, so it remains as it is. What do we get the value of the new determinant as? Minus twenty product of diagonal elements plus minus twenty product of diagonal minus product of off diagonal minus product of off diagonal. So we get minus twenty times sorry minus twenty plus eighteen. What is what are we getting? Minus two. Are we getting the same result as we were having for the original determinant? Yes, the original determinant and the new determinant have equal values. That's what the property says. So we can apply these row operation and column operation. The value determinant will remain unaffected or unchanged. Our fifth property, and we use it very commonly while simplifying the determinants. We come across many questions where we apply these pro this property. It's a very common, frequently used property. So we can say most commonly used, frequently used property. Sixth property is the last property that we have of determinants, and this property enables us to split a determinant. We can split a determinant into Two or more than two determinants, and when do we split? For that, the criteria is that in a given determinant, the entries are uh, expressed as any particular row or particular column is expressed as a binomial. Like this, we have the first row as a binomial. So, if you find in a particular row or particular column, the that the determinant has elements. As binomial or trinomial, then you can split the determinant with respect to that particular row or that particular column. Column may have a row in. Each time you can split uh, on the basis of only one row. So, if you have a row one, then it was binomial entries, I must say, and the remaining two rows are let's say mon monomials. Simple. So, I can break up this determinant and simplify it further like this. How we can split it now? Let's see how do we split it. So when uh, first of all you understand where are we going to split? If we find the entries of any particular row or particular column are binomial, trinomial, then we can split the 
determinant, I can do that many determinants. Because like a binomial, it, I can split this determinant, determinant into two determinants on the basis of row 1. So row 1 ke basis, I can split into 2. So row 1 ke basis ka matlab ye hai ki pehle determinant mein row 1 mein aega A, B and C. Remaining two rows mein koi changes nahi, to unko as it is note kar lenge. And then in second determinant mein kya jayega? Remaining terms of A, row 1. A, B, C to amne row 1 first determinant mein dal diye. Remaining terms will go in X, Y, Z will go in the second determinant. So we have splitted this determinant, original determinant into two determinants. On the, side, on the lines of, on the basis of row 1. Row 2, row 3 mein koi changes nahi hoi. So if you notice that the determinant is our pass, two determinants will break up. If you this question, ko dhyan se dekhe, when the question is right out here, the value of the determinant comes out. It's simple now because row 1 of the first determinant and row 3 of the first determinant are identical and we have done one of the properties in the previous video. The value of the determinant, first determinant is 0 because row 1 and row 3 are same. Entries are same. Likewise, second determinant also, Row 1 and row 2 entries are same. So value of second determinant is also 0. So overall result value of this determinant is 0. So in this particular property we split the determinant on the basis of a row or a column. If you find that in a particular row there are binomials, monomials, dynomials, not monomials, sorry, binomials, more than two, two or more than two terms, then we can break up the determinant into that many determinants depending on how many terms we have in that particular row or particular column. But if you are like break up at one row one row at one time. So we have a row ko break up all the last two remaining two were the monomials tha. So if you have the remaining two rows are binomial or we so you can break up curse at them but at one time you break up one break up curse if row one cup two terms are break up camera if you row two ke respect me have a break up curve to ugly step me curly jay so yes property we both Rarely use it, but unique questions are there.